Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If your dream is to become a data analyst or a data scientist, then cracking the SQL interview is a very important stage for attaining your dream. Myself, MLV Prasad, I'm a mentor for data science and analytics. I can help you overcome this obstacle by explaining all the various questions asked in top companies which are available at the LeetCore platform. All my code solutions for the questions available in LeetCore platform are there in my GitHub repository. The link for that is available in the chart description below. And in addition to that, I have also segregated the channel into five plays, five playlists, namely easy, medium and hard, depending upon the difficulties of the questions and also the premium level questions of the lead code platform. And I have joined everything, all the difficulty types into one single playlist and I have ordered into the sequence order. Let's see the question which we are trying to solve it today. It is of type easy, question number 1571, warehouse manager. Let's go to lead code. Okay, it is also asked in Amazon. Let's see it. Okay, warehouse is there, which is consisting of name, product ID, units, and the combination of name and product ID is a primary key for this table. Okay. And each pro in warehouse, some products will be there, right? The, this is the description of the things which are there in the warehouse which are product ID, product name, width, length, height, okay. And they are given as length, height and width, okay. They are the description of each product. Write an SQL query to report the number of cubic feet of volume the inventory occupies in each warehouse, okay. Return the table in any order. Let's see the input what they are given and let's understand that. see if you see there are multiple warehouses lc1 2 3 right in lc1 there is something called product 1 okay the product 1 details are there in this table these two tables are connected using product id product id okay what is the product 1 which is there in warehouse it is a tv which is of width 550 and 40 means let's say some product is there a square box length width and something the height the three dimensions they have given if you want to volume of your item you should do length into breadth into height which is for what one item it is this one right now if you go to the LHS second row for the same warehouse product ID 2 there are 10 units what is the product ID 2 here keychain what is the volume occupied by keychain? 5 into 5 into 5, something, right? But there are 10 units, so the, the total volume into 10 units. So what we need to do is, we need to join these two tables using product ID. So if we do the multiplication of these three columns, we will get the volume of that items. Then depending upon the number of units, we need to multiply for that then we get the total unit which is required okay after that what we what we need to do is for each warehouse you need it right so you will group by that warehouse and you will calculate the sum of all the things which are required i will show you step by step first of all from warehouse in a join Let's call it A in a joint products table. Okay, uh, on A dot product ID. Equal to B dot product ID. Let's take select a dot name comma multiplication of the all the four things means a dot units into 
b dot width b dot length into b dot uh, height I will give some alias LL just to, just to show you how, how it is calculated for each row level okay it's units only let's run it uh, what is that error the multipart identifier b dot product okay product id oh where is the mistake product id a dot product okay we should be b alias is there okay first one here you can see right where is our input output yeah we are, for each row we have calculated the sum of unit into width less than everything but what they need is for each warehouse they need it now what we will do is we will calculate by grouping by them and we will do the sum of these things we will do from keep this table like this uh, some call it some t1 table 1 we need to group by a dot name let's call it t1 dot name select t1 dot name comma sum of ll let's do wall wall sum of all the volumes as volume now let's run it okay they have given alias name for this one t dot name as warehouse name okay it got accepted let's submit it yeah our solution got accepted by the, all the test cases which are there in this platform thanks for watching my video if you want more detailed explanations like this please subscribe to my channel it will motivate me a lot and share it with your study mates and study partners also it will help them to be disciplined complete all the videos which are there in my playlist try to achieve your dream as fast as possible just don't give up just practicing thank you